You know, it's important to get things done. It's more important to get the right things done. Today, I'm going to show you how I use Apple's reminders to get the right things done. So I had to simplify a, a little backstory first. Life has taught me this valuable lesson. If you want to be productive, you have to stop complicating everything in life. No analysis paralysis. Stop wasting time chasing the next cool thing. I also learned that I had to stop digging into the 500 features that my to-do app offered, but that I'd never use. But first things first. You know what's important to know about today? What you're supposed to do. And how will you know what to do if you don't take a little time and plan out your day? Answer, you won't. If you're like me, you'll drift around and just waste a day. If you're a little older, not like me, then you don't need to be wasting time. Let's talk about the Reminders app. If you've got an iPhone, iPad, Mac, or Apple Watch, you have the Reminders app. It's free and it comes with your device. Now I've been down every rabbit hole you can think of looking for the perfect task manager. It just doesn't exist. It's a myth, like a unicorn. Not like a mermaid because, you know, mermaids are real. So you've got to get started. And if you want to get the right things done, you need to make a list of all the areas of your life you think are important. And I don't mean stuff like Taco Tuesday. I mean, things like family and friends and work and health and faith and hobbies stuff like that i keep my list of life areas in an apple note and take time to do this and remember you can always change an area if you need to then open reminders and create a list for each day of the week no lists for your life areas just simple monday through sunday lists but you need to exercise some discipline to make this all work it's not complicated i've boiled it down to a three-step process Reflect, create tasks, schedule the tasks. Once a week, usually Friday afternoon, I sit down with my life area list and reminders open in front of me on either my iPad or my computer. And the secret sauce is simply spend some time reflecting on each area and create your tasks from there. Remember, it's the life area list that ensures you're focusing on the important stuff. I typically place the tasks in my inbox list, just kind of using it as a holding area. And then I drag each task to the day of the week that I plan to do that task. Lastly, I go to each task and assign it an actual date. That way I can use the today and schedule widgets and reminders. And that's it. Don't make it any more complicated than it needs to be. Just keep it simple and you'll be a GTD ninja before you know it. Friends and neighbors will ask you, how do you get so many things done? Tell them you watched this video. Hey, one last bonus tip. You might have noticed I have two other lists, start up and shut down. Each day, I have a number of routines I run through at the beginning of the workday and again at the end of the workday. I stick those routine tasks in these two folders. Each task is a repeating task, so I don't have to create it, you know, day after day. But other than that, it's just Monday through Sunday lists. I've tried so many different methods and apps, and frankly, I've wasted a lot of time. This system works for me so well, and it'll work for you too. I encourage you to give it a try. Hey, if you like this video, be sure to Kung Fu, that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and tap that little bell icon to turn on notifications. It really helps the channel. So how are you using reminders? Post a comment and let me know how you get things done. I can learn from you too. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.